Hey guys, it's Rainy. So for this DIY, I'm gonna be using this template of the sleeves that I got online. I just printed them and this is actually pretty easy. I'm just gonna link them below so you can check them out. I'm going to be just arranging this kinds of leaves like the big ones to make those edges pointier because I think it looks cuter like this and then I'm going to be cutting the whole thing so I chose in this four kinds of leaves I'm going to be using some cardboard like a folder kind of cardboard like a yellow one and I'm going to be tracing my templates in there just using a sharpie and per folder I could trace four times my set then I'm going to be cutting those I'm going to be using a small bowl just to wet them and just to make my folders a bit wrinkly and with a bit of texture as opposed to just like flat i let them dry overnight and i just kind of like shaved them fold them in the middle like to give them the shape of leaves and that's how i made the shape now from this i'm going to be making two decors for the first one i'm going to go metallic and for the other one colorful place them upside down and i color them with some copper and black acrylic paint just to make my copper a bit darker i'm also using this brush and that is like for makeup but i never use for makeup i find the bristles softer but first i'm going to be painting the back of them all of them like copper for the front part i'm going to be using the same copper some gold and some silver and pretty much just painting the front part now i should have colored the back of them as the same color as the front but for some reason i decided to just paint cover the back i also painted each set per color a set gold a set silver and a set copper once they are dry and set i'm going to be taking my mouse pad i'm going to be taking this tool that you can use for like dotting tool a scribe tool or, or for this kinds of things it's actually pretty handy and easy to make and i'm going to be making some like indentations or, like marks of like the veins of the leaves and this is why you need something of a texture for like a mouse pad because it's not fluffy but it has some like height to it and this is pretty much what this look like i'm gonna be doing a home decor kind of thing in a minute but first i want to show you the colorful ones how i make them so again i'm gonna be using these four kinds of leaves i'm gonna be using green i also ended up choosing another different orange my red and this burgundy wine that i did myself i do have the diagram showing you how to make this out of all of these four ones i made two of them and i show you how to make them and each of them is going to be like the same color that i paint right now so all my green leaves have the same shape and so on and so forth but now i'm going to be decorating each one so my leaves are supposed to be transitioning from like brighter colors to darker ones and like the transition is happening in the middle like in the veins is going to be the color that's next and the previous color is like on the edges for instance my green leaves are going to be transitioning to mustard pretty soon because the season is changing so i'm just going to be painting those with my detail brush and then going with my sponge to just make everything smoother and then my mustard color ones i ended up doing two things for all of them it's going to be transitioning to a darker color which is like red so first i ended up painting the veins and just smoothing them with my sponge for two of them the transition was green edges just because i thought it was fun and colorful not because it's transitioning to green it's actually transitioning to the next color which is red as i mentioned before which i did the two of them but i thought it was missing some color and that's why i made two green same with my reds going with my brush and my sponge and they're going to be transitioning into the uh, burgundy wine so the veins are going to be dead and for my burgundy wine colored leaves which are the darker ones i just painted the edges meaning that they were previously red but i didn't do anything to the veins i hope i'm making some sense here and this is pretty much what they look like now by themselves i think they look really cute they are actually really colorful and fun to look at and for all of them you can just do whatever you want with them something fun to use as a decor but for my metallic ones i'm going to be hanging them on the wall and i'm going to be making some like loops with my hot glue gun in that part of the leaf then i'm going to be using some twine and the twine goes through those loops and to hang them on the wall i'm going to be using a couple of clothes pins that i just taped on the wall with one of those pretty strong tapes for frames and stuff that you don't need to put any like nails in the wall i'm gonna be hanging that like this and then arranging them and this is pretty much what this garland looks like i actually love it i think it looks really cute fun to look at and just like fancy ish in a way and for my colorful ones i'm gonna be arranging them like this and then just gluing them with my hot glue being as random as i can i think it looks better the messier it looks 
some leaves are like upside down and being pretty random in like the arrangement and yeah this way you have them all in one place they're pretty much ready to go and placed like this i think they look really cute on the table they make a really cute and fun table arrangement i ended up hanging mine as you're gonna see that in a second by the way if you're using like shorter hot glue gun sticks i do have the diy where i show you how to make the hot glue gun sticks longer so when you're using your hot glue gun a lot you just have to place one long hot glue gun stick hopefully you like them they are actually really easy to make pretty affordable so much fun to make as well but yeah i really like them hopefully you do too and if you did don't forget to give this a thumbs up check out more diy decor that i have on my channel and share this thank you so much for watching i'll take you later and take care bye